I am super geeked out today because I get to create a theme update overview video for you. But more so than that, I am so excited for Clean Pro version 58 because I get to release the magic module. This is a new module to the series that is part of a greater strategy that's gonna roll out over the course of next year. My whole objective with thinking about 2023, God, 2023, like we are just living in the future. How crazy, right? I digress. My whole strategy is starting to think about how I can create and or improve some of the existing modules in the Clean Pro series to be more intuitive, create better design flexibility, and have more speed and performance options so that you have a complete tool set when utilizing the Clean Pro theme for your website. So without further ado, let me just jump right in and show you some of the very cool things that the Magic Module can do so that you can start experimenting with it yourself. The last thing I will say is the Magic Module is in a beta period. So it is not going to be in any of the existing themes, but you will have access to it in the little module side drawer in your HubSpot account. So you'll need to drag and drop it in and start experimenting with it. Since it is in beta, if you happen to notice any little bugs or funkiness that QA, me mostly, didn't cover, there is a link to a bug submission or feedback and ideas form that I'll link below in this video. I welcome any little reports or ideas that you have to make this magic module, well, even more magic. So let's jump right in. Here you can see I created a demo page right up at the top. Each and every one of these columns, as you see here, is going to be made with that one magic module. And so let me show you a few of the cool tricks that you can do. First and foremost, as we scroll down the page, one of the things you're gonna be able to see is the addition of parallax elements. You can kind of see these start to scroll in different positions as I scroll up and down the page, which is gonna open you up to a flurry of new interesting ways that you can make your website feel more dynamic and fluid and engaging. Now, with any of these cool features that I'm adding to the magic module, I say use sparingly. Like I'm throwing everything at the kitchen sink at this demo page. It's not necessarily what you'll wanna do, but you have the toolkit now to do it. So as we scroll down a little bit further, you can see you have the ability to create these beautiful content cards, background videos, and looping is far more seamless now in the Magic module than it has been in other modules. And you can also see you're gonna have a lot more control over the alignments of different content in relation to one another. Also, the ability to add different buttons or calls to action right in line. As we scroll down a little bit further, of course you can create more and more content cards that give you the option to stagger them and just create different types of rows or sections that kind of break the standard grid pattern. As we move down even a little bit further, you can see there's gonna be even more options that you can do with images. Now, I took a lot of inspiration from the Wealthfront website, which I'm a big fan of the design and UX of, hence some of these images like the floating whale. But as you can see here, these are actually three independent images that I can now layer on top of one another and give them each their own subtle animation, which I'm gonna show you how to do in just a moment. And if we go down a little bit further, of course, we have better Lottie file integration, and then you can, of course, add forms, and there's so much more. This is literally the tip of the iceberg when it comes to what you're gonna be able to do with this magic module. Now, I wanna show you a few of the inner workings just so you can get a sense of, okay, well, that all looks great, but what does this look like when I'm actually working with it? So if we jump straight over here to the CMS, and we add any of these um, modules, you're gonna see if I just click into, let's just say, let's just say this one. So this is our little icon row with the parallax elements. Now a few different things that you're gonna see straight off the bat is you can now um, add uh, up to six columns. So you have this handy little slider that you can slide around and set how many columns, in this case there's five, but let's just say we switch it to four, 
apply those changes, you're gonna see that actually take effect right here. Another big thing about this new Magic module is now we have the Styles tab open. The Styles tab is a new-ish feature of HubSpot that has some different attributes when it comes to styling certain aspects of your web page. For the most part in the Magic module and with modules preceding this, you're gonna be able to access the section, the row, and then the column settings. Now this is gonna take maybe a little getting used to if you're used to the uh, current clean modules where you have that little row settings section under the contents tab. Now you're gonna have a lot more option options here under the styles tab. So for example, if I look under the row settings, you can see I can very easily come in here, change the background from a color gradient image and things that you're already used to. It's organized just a little bit differently. So last cool thing that I wanna show you here is the way that content is organized. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just going to come over here, I'm gonna type magic, I'm gonna drag the magic module into the page. Now, right now, by default, it's just gonna load with one column. It's gonna give you a few directions, but I have a full Help Center article, and well, this is the video overview that you're watching to help guide you through how to start leveraging this module. But if we go into column one, this is where it gets cool. So if I add a new content element, you're gonna see right here, I have this long list to choose from, from an image, to an icon, to a form, to a CTA or a modal button, Lottie animation, or even the rotating text feature, which has been really popular in the hero banner module within the clean series. So what you can do in this case, say I want to, let's just add a rotating text feature and we're gonna replace this magic module right here. Now you have the option to give it a specific heading type. So I can say, let's do an H3 and then we're just gonna do the, and then the rotating will be through magic, awesome, dope, rad, and then module, right? So we have that. If I just apply changes right here, that's gonna drop right below. Now this is where it gets even cooler. So if we go back to the contents, I can just simply drag this above the rich text editor, Come in here for good measure, remove that, apply changes, and now we have that rotating text sitting right above that row. It's that, it's that sort of stacking optionality that you're gonna have that's gonna allow you just endless possibilities when starting to experiment with this magic module. Now again, I'm gonna repeat, if you're watching the video this far, I applaud you first off, uh, this module is in beta, so while it is working for all intensive purposes, since there is so much flexibility with this module and there are so many edge cases with all its options, please do test a few things and explore the module when you start using it to make sure your settings are dialed in across desktop, tablet, and mobile. And again, if you find anything funky, feel free to use that link that I've um, that's in the description below to submit your bug reports. Hopefully there's very few, there should be very few, um, or ideas or feedback for new features or missing features that you thought would be there in this module. And with that, I'm out. I can't wait to start adding this magic module to my very own website, which you're going to see um, you know, plenty of for sure. And yeah, I hope you have a wonderful holiday season and so much to look forward to. Clean Pro, oh, it's gonna get awesome. It's, it's already awesome, but it's gonna get even more awesome and I'm super excited for it. All right, later.